So uh, what's up guys, how are you? It's Way from Revolution. Uh, here at the 2018 Basel Watch Fair, where as I mentioned, the uh, the sausages are crazily expensive. They're not bad, but, they're, but the watches are freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm here with two guys who are responsible for the awesomeness of the watches, and of course, our intrepid reporter, Suzanne Wong, master of all things technical and all things watches. So I'm here with both Eric and Ander, two of my favorite guys from Tudor. Um, I don't know if I'm a, uh, I'm a well, uh, so Ander is the creative director and, and, and Eric is basically the boss. Uh, <laughs> uh, and so they're here to present the new uh, Tudor watches with, along with Suzanne. So Suzanne, um, take it away. <laughs> okay, should we start with, uh, with the far, well for me it's my far left, for you guys it's the far right. This is the new collection that uh, some, some of you may have seen on social media as of uh, yesterday. Um, and maybe we can talk about like this new uh, selection of watches which range from a 32mm to a, I believe it's 38? 28? 28? 36? 46? Uh, 241. So these are, they're called the 1926 collection. They are based on the fact the day in which, or the date in which uh, Hans Wildorf registered the name Tudor. Mm -hmm. um, so what's cool about it is uh, they're excessively priced, man. So 28, 34, 39, 41, starting 1600 uh, Swiss francs, uh, and then you increase only 100 Swiss francs per size. Exactly. Um, they're Maybe cool. A bit more with the diamond. Uh, yeah, the diamond, the diamond index is 500 Swiss francs more. So if you go to two tone, so it's got gold as well, mm -hmm. it's a thousand Swiss francs more per reference. And then if you go uh, diamond on top of that, uh, it's another 500 Swiss francs. So the most expensive would be the 41 uh, two tone with diamonds, which is 3,250 Swiss francs, if I'm not mistaken, which is great. Uh, like for example, if your son wants to show up at high school and be like a super baller, you get him that watch. It's, it's, so anyway, what's important to see here is that these are honeycomb dials, and honeycomb dials are a very big part of the Tudor history with applied indexes. I mean, you know, they're using EDA movements. Uh, I believe the majority of them are using the EDA 2824. Mm -hmm. with Solid, a, reliable. Yeah, you know. Solid, reliable. But what, that's always been the history of Tudor exactly. as well. Exactly. You can't right? go wrong. So we're going to go from there to a watch that I think is incredible. Uh, and, and I would actually get one for if I had a little son, I think. Or... or I would get for for yeah. If, I mean, you know, it'd be so extremely cool. Extremely versatile. Thirty-two mm uh, black band. I just love it. Uh, you got the bevel. You mm -hmm. got the cool snowflake hands. I mean, uh, tell us more about this watch. Exactly. Suzanne. Those of you who are fans of blue dials, I know there's a lot of you out there. I'm not personally one of them. Blue's not really, really not my color. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you can we maybe try it on your wrist, just sure. Just yeah, have of a course. look on how it looks. We got the old oyster quartz. And there you go. And uh, yeah, with the uh, jacket, it's fine. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Anna. Exactly. It's like you, you dressed for today. Mm. So this is an example of how uh, the blue is available in both the black and uh, and the blue for the Black Bay. Mm -hmm. um, now you've got the 32mm version of that watch as well, which is great. Now it was, the interesting thing was this watch was, I guess, presented as a woman's watch. It's it's the first 32mm Black Bay, but mm -hmm. it's got all the great design codes. You see the bevel here on the lugs. We've got it on both sides here. Uh, you look at the beautiful dial with the snowflake hands with the surrounds for the indexes as well. It's got all that kind of cool, heroic, pragmatic, ranger-like uh, kind of like uh, design codes, but in a smaller size. Now this is presented as a woman's watch, but if I had a son, I'd slap this immediately, or a daughter, I'd slap that immediately on their wrist, especially on the, on the uh, NATO strap, which I think is super cool. Exactly. There you go, that's the NATO strap version. Look at that, it's great. It's so awesome. Do you imagine your like, little kid rocking up at school and be like, hey, check out my watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go from there to two new uh, watches. Um, we're gonna do two Black Bays. We're gonna do the, the Black Bay 58. Right, which is an homage to the Black Bay 7924, which was the big first big crown uh, 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 Tudor watch that was uh, rated 200 meters water resistance. Mm -hmm. And so we'll take these two out here. Exactly. There you go. Now what's cool about these watches is first of all, okay, so these are 39 mm. The way you can tell a 39 mm um, a Black Bay is that there is no small color-coded tube here next to the crown. Yeah. And that if you look at the gilt on the dial, gilt is the sort of brass colored, gold colored um, uh, uh, writing that you see in the minute track here. It's been brought, brought out to the uh, to the rotating bezel as well, which I think is super cool. You've got the red triangle, which is a vintage Q, uh, code as well. And what's great about this is it's using the in-house movement of the M2, uh, MT54, which is a 26 mm in diameter movement. It's got 70 hours of power reserve. It's got a, a full balance bridge anchored on both sides for stability. It's got a variable inertia balance wheel, which means you adjust the regulation of the balance wheel using the screws in it, which is super stable. It's got a silicone hairspring, it, and it's got a cost certificate as well, so which is, I think is pretty badass. And this watch costs how much? 3,100 Swiss francs, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. so that's freaking awesome value, guys. Come on, that's yes. that's killer. I mean, we all know Tudor for value watches, but I think this year's collection is really something exceptional. And uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of sizing, if you guys have experienced the previous models, they look amazing on the wrist. But for this, I mean, for such a classic design, we're talking about classic proportions right here. And uh, I'm having trouble getting it up. But it looks, it looks exceptionally stunning. 
have a look at that. And uh, yeah, just everything you like about it is still there. You know, the snowflake hands, the beautiful vintage style, new vintage, but you know. So on the other hand, they've done uh, a GMT watch as well. So here now is the Black Bay GMT watch. Mm -hmm. Now this is using the um, MT56, if I'm not mistaken, which is also their in-house movement. What was really cool is when um, Tudor went from an outsourced movement to an in-house movement for their Black Bays, they only increased the price by 10%, which I think is an incredible statement of like value, right? Uh, that movement, again, is sick. It's um, got a full balance bridge anchored on both sides, variable, variable inertia balance wheel, uh, silicone hair spring, 70 hours of power reserve, cost certificate, uh, but also an internal standard of testing that's even higher and they test the actual uh, watch as opposed to testing just the movement which is I think what they've used to do, uh, they do at Costco I think mm -hmm. I still think so um, what's cool is uh, they've added the GMT function which is this red hand with the snowflake uh, motif which is I know, very cool I love it great great homage to the past um, and they've done this all without uh, affecting the, the dimensions of the case right so you've done all of that within the same so dimensions of the, of the previous yeah. watches and what do you think Suzanne? We've seen this, actually we've seen this in context of coming straight from Rolex. So we were, we were like talking about how it's such, it's so amazing that the entire family together has presented these GMT watches, you know, together. So you had the entire price range for someone who enjoys and, and likes and appreciates GMT watches. You've got something, you know, that starts at quite a really sort of accessible price range. You can, you know, go as far up as you like. But uh, in terms of... Um, the, the red and blue bezel here that, that comes directly from what we've seen of the, the Heritage Black Bay so far. We've seen the original one with the, the burgundy bezel and we've seen the later ones with the blue ones which were also really popular. So, so you've just taken half and half. So that burgundy and that blue is from the original Black Bay and that's from mm -hmm. the Black Bay blue which is cool. Exactly. So, you know, nice uh, homage to the to their own uh, their own past or exactly. their own recent past, mm -hmm. and finally we got the uh, black bay with the champagne, champagne dial, dial, which is like if you've been Stunning. following the vintage world, like champagne dials have become like super popular. I think it's just absolutely killer. They Again, are. these watches are such uh, great value propositions as well because, as Suzanne pointed out, the gold elements that you see here are actually clad, so it's mm -hmm. a piece of gold cladding a, a different core. Yeah. It's it's not yes. it's not gold plated, so you know if you scratch it, that's not a problem. Exactly. It's actually a gold shell around a steel core, so it's still incredibly resilient and yes. robust. Great identity, and uh, that's it. Uh, congratulations, guys. That's Great it. job. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you very, thank much. You very much.